Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing a one take today. One take, one take. Let me tell you about my day. Let me just tell you about my day. Okay, so today was my big day of training with um, the Home Shopping Network, working from home. And as y'all know, luck has just not been on my side here lately. And last night I was trying, I mean, I worked so hard yesterday getting some loose ends tied up and so I could start my job today. Worked really hard at getting stuff, you know, just done. And um, I was gonna go to bed early, um, get a shower, go to bed early. So I'd be nice and perky today. And, um, well, about, um, I'd say about 9.30, 10 o'clock, I went in to sit down in my PC, my work computer. Just take Facebook, blah. Actually, I was gonna print some, some paperwork off for today that I really didn't need, but you know, I'm just kind of OCD on everything, so. Anyways, I um, went in there and it was just froze up. The computer, hold on, I gotta grab my bag. I just tilted it over. So, I went in there and my computer was froze up. I have dual screens. And both screens were just locked up. And I was like, all right, fine. So, I turned it off. I turned the computer off. I mean, I couldn't go to the start menu. It was totally froze up. So, um turned it off and turned it back on and it said your computer blah 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 unexpected at least shut down if you know power outage or something just hit restart in this mode if it wasn't electrical then um, the computer needed to do a uh, to fix some corrupted files and I mean it's all in these black you know and I'm like what the heck so I just chose the you know nothing happened I'll just restart my computer no it wouldn't it went right back to it again so I chose it again and tried again I tried probably, probably five times and I rebooted it again, and it just kept doing the same thing. And, I mean, by, by now it's like 1030, and I'm going, oh my gosh. I mean, it would just go to this blue screen, the blue screen of death, where it's just setting, and it's doing nothing. So, I'm panicking. You know, I'm like, I mean, I have waited for this day to come, as you all know, to start my new job. And I'm sitting there just praying and asking God to please make this computer come on because I have to have this computer to do this job. Not specifically today. Today I had to go an hour and a half away for orientation, which by the way was awesome. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But, um, I mean, I'm just in a panic. And I text my one friend you know, is this a sign? And Megan kind of said, Mom, this is just really weird. This is too coincidental. You know, I was kind of finding about the two tumors and everything and what's going to happen with that and, you know, starting a new job. I mean, in my mind, I'm like, ugh. So, um, wow. Um, so she said that and I was already thinking it and, um, so call my, you know, I text my friend and I'm like, okay, is this a sign, you know, like I'm not supposed to go tomorrow or something? Like I'm not supposed to work? And she said, I don't think so. And I called my sister. She's had a lot of PC issues and she has to take hers in. And I, I mean, I'm a Mac girl, you know, I'm not a PC girl. So, um, she said, do you have your Windows, um, Windows disk? And my computer came with Windows on it. And, um, so I don't have a disk. And I said, no. And she said, well, I have one, but 
I mean, it was already so late, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Mind you, during all this, I have restarted the same thing, blue screen, nothing's happening. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, I text my other friend, Dave, and I'm like, okay, Dave, what does this mean? He's like, Glory, just borrow a computer for tomorrow, you know, take it in, get it fixed. Well, my sister called me back, and we started talking, and she said, you know what? You got to make a decision here. She's like, I really don't think it's that you're not supposed to have this job. You know, sometimes these things just happen. And um, so she said, what I'll do is you go to bed, get your shower, and go tomorrow, and I'll come over and get the computer and take it to a PC shop, and they probably just need to put the Windows 7 disk in and clean things up. Well, I was like, I'm still like devastated, as you can imagine. So I'm in this stress panic, and I'm like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna get my shower. Got my shower, said my prayers. I was like, God, you know, if you don't want me to go to this job thing, if this is you, then you'll make something else happen before I pull out of the driveway in the morning. So, you know, I mean, he can do that. So, God, I did go to bed. I managed to go to sleep, and I got about six hours. Then got up and got ready, and I was all excited, and then my sister went over with her disc, and I mean, I'm texting her, you know, oh, are you there? What's going on? And I mean, the plan was she was going to see if she could get it with that disc, and if not, she was going to run it to a PC shop and say, listen, she's got to have this computer for tomorrow for her job. Or worst case scenario, I was just going to have to go buy a new processor, which I'm like, no, but you know, I mean, you're going to do what you got to do, right? Unless God closes that door. So, anyways, she went over there this morning, got the disc. She's got it booted up. She got my computer booted up. Yay, Linda. Everybody say, yay, Linda. So, I'm almost home now, and I just had to update y'all, but, um, Yes, it was great. Um, working from home, you usually don't meet your coworkers, but this company is totally different. They are so class act, I can't say enough. Uh, we got to meet our trainer via Skype. She's in St. Petersburg. <laughs> um, she did a video conference with us today and um, walked through everything. I gotta go home and do an hour of setup for the programs I'm going to need for training and um, you know got to meet some ladies that live around me actually one that lives in the one town over from me she uh, used to work at my chiropractor's office Dr. Olds and uh, which was weird she's like I thought I knew you and um, but yeah it all worked out so you know I guess my thinking of this is when you think maybe God is telling you something you know here in my mind and, and that's how I think the devil plays with our brains is like he tries to you know like these two tumors yeah I easily could have laid down and said nope can't work gotta deal with this no I want to work I need to work I want to work and um you know, and then for that to happen at 10 o'clock the night before I'm supposed to go to this orientation, I mean, I, I'm like, is that a sign? And, um, you know, but like my prayer was last night, God, if this is really your will that I'm not supposed to work right now, something will happen. I'll get a flat tire, you know, I'll go out, there'll be a flat tire, and something's going to happen to keep me from going today, which didn't happen. The drive was great. I had a great drive this morning. It was sunny out. Just a wonderful drive. Wonderful. They fed us lunch. Um, got my little HSN cup. Um, so, you know, so I, I guess 
my point being, when you feel so defeated by the devil, which I really think all of that probably was his doing to just knock me down. And do you know how bad I would have felt today if I didn't get to go? I mean, it would have been awful because I I applied for them for, I've, I've applied twice to HSN. Um, and this time I got it and I've had to wait like two months to start training. So, yeah, I just can't even imagine how horrible I would have felt today sitting at home with a computer that, you know, we finally got to work and, you know, I'm sure they would have been like, okay, you dummy, we're not hiring you. But I persevered and I went through with it and I did it and it's awesome and I'm pumped up but I'm tired. <laughs> uh, the good old brain hung in there today. I took some extra hydrocortisone, of course, this morning and this afternoon. And uh, no headaches today. Um, my vision was a little off, but not too bad. And um, really no confusion, but I really didn't get into learning anything. So y'all keep praying about that during training that, you know, I can stay focused, and I'm starting to kind of train my brain, like driving today, just not thinking about other things, and right now I'm recording, but just concentrating on that, um, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm learning that with this little brain wiring problem right now, which is probably those tumors, um, that I'm just having to do extra concentration and I seem to be doing better doing that and I've been playing some little word games on my uh, iPhone at night just to kind of keep you know stuff going I know that this carotid artery is being affected so I know that's a lot of it that you know all the blood in this vessel is not getting up there so but yeah, anyways, it was a good day. Now I'm getting ready to go home and see my little kiddos. And Megan's gonna make dinner tonight. She made cookies last night. She, I know she felt really bad because she, she's like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's like a weird coincidence, you know, that your computer or that you're going to have to do this job just decides to shut down. But now we know I have a testimony that maybe the message you think is coming from God to keep you from doing something could be the other force. And I really believe that after today. Um, and I did, you know, check with a couple of people just to make sure, you know, that I wasn't thinking crazy. and. I guess in the back of my mind, I was kind of scared, but when I got in my car this morning and then I pulled out of my driveway and I got on the highway and everything was fine, I was like, well, what else could it be, right? So anyways, that's my video today, one take today because I'm just done. I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner. Megan's gonna make tacos tonight and uh, do that one hour of work that I get paid for doing, set it up my computer. The only thing that bothers me is she said it had a password and I don't remember what I set my password is, so I gotta get in there and see if I can unlock my computer, which that's going to be the next little hesitation if that doesn't work. And I'm probably gonna pull all this hair out that I'm ready to cut off anyway, so. All right, bye, bye. I'm gonna go. Um, bye guys, live, love, laugh, trust, 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 pray when in doubt, and don't let him knock you down, just get back up, and like I say, live, love, laugh about it, because now I can laugh about it, because it all worked out just fine, all right, done, love y'all, bye. Hey guys, Lori Fikes Likes here, it is my day of training today, and um, wow, it has been a crazy 24 hours. Um, started training today, which is good. I woke up at 7.30, passed out last night in my bed, and I was gone. Last night, I learned that my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, 
found out he has lymphatic cancer. Uh, he's the one that fell off the ladder and they found those, um, they found some um, basal cell or basal cells, um, what are they called? Renal cells on him, on his lymph nodes in his, by his lungs. And um, they met with the doctor yesterday and they are, it's lymphatic cancer. He has to take a medicine. If he doesn't, he has six months to live. And I'm gonna cry again. I cried all last night. So just pray for him, okay? Um, talked to my sister last night. Um, they're gonna give him this medicine that will prolong his life. Um, if he doesn't take it, he only has six months. If he takes it, then maybe two years to five years is what they're saying. And he's just like 62, something like that. Pray for his kids. Pray for his wife, my sister. Pray for all of us. We're being hit by Satan so hard right now. I'm trying to be positive today. I just started my first day of training, and it's going awesome. But I got to go right now. I just wanted to update you. I'm going to compile this whole video from yesterday and today. But sitting here in my office, and just wanted to say please pray for him. Um, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Um, I talked with my doctor's nurse today, and they are trying to get my neurosurgeon scheduled. So just keep us in your prayers, okay? Live, love, laugh every day because you just never know what's going to come around the corner. All right. Love y'all. Bye.